god. This is not even all of it. I have five books left. Oh, but I can't. I can't hold them. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm here with another book haul, the last book haul of 2020. I was thinking, hmm, how long has it been since I last posted a book haul video and it was in July. And I was thinking like, oh my god, I did so well. I did not buy that many books and then I counted them all and I came to a total of 20 books. Now, I think that's quite a lot. I always compare my reading pace, like how quickly I read books versus how quickly I buy books. And you know, they're not equal. They're not the same. So I guess let's just get into it. The first three books that I want to talk about are all fairy loot books that I received over the past three months because I was a fairy loot rep from August, September, and October. But then they also just sent me an email asking me if I wanted to be a rep from December, January, and February on as well and of course I said yes I've had a subscription to fairy loot in the past for like two years so when I got the opportunity to become a rep for their boxes I mean I just had to but before I'm going to show you the three books that I received in the past three months I also have an October fairy loot unboxing and the box is great the items are beautiful beautiful <laughs> and the book that was in this box is I think the most stunning special edition I have ever received but if you're not interested in watching me unbox that box you can click right up until this point in the video and then you can just skip on to the rest of the books but I do have to say the unboxing chef's kiss I don't think it's something you want to miss out on so I will give you guys to pass me Bye. <laughs> Ta -da! Ooh, okay. Ooh, we have some different string in the box or something. Usually they always have purple stuff. The October 2020 spoiler card. I'll look at this after I've seen all the products and the book and stuff like that. But I will let you know the shops that created these products right on the screen when I'm showing you guys the items. So this month's theme was Wicked Hearts. Let's see what's inside of this box. I'm gonna vacuum my room anyways, but I just, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Where should I leave it? Okay, I'm gonna leave it on the floor. <laughs> the first thing that I see is Wicked Hard playing cards. I'm not the biggest fan of receiving playing cards in boxes because I have already received playing cards in my previous fairy loot boxes like two or three years ago. So this is my third playing card set. And I don't play with cards that often, so, <laughs> but I don't know. I guess that's kind of like a personal thing then. Let's have a look at the design though of these cards because they are probably still really gorgeous. Ooh, okay, okay. These are really pretty though. They are black cards and on like those special type of cards, I don't know how to say this in English, um, you have like little characters drawn on there, but I do not recognize any of these characters. I guess I'm just gonna have to like look it up on the spoiler card to see which ones they are. I just know that they are stunning. Next we have a little pouch. I'm hoping this would be earrings. Like that would be so cool. Oh, it's a pin. Still really cool though. It says the Young Elite's enamel pin. It's like a wolf inside of a moon and it says it is my turn to use. My turn to hate. Next up, I have no clue what this is. Kingdom of the Wicked salt and pepper shakers. Okay, I like this idea. That's unique. Oh my god. These are Stunning. The designs are so pretty. So on both of these salt and pepper shakers, you have the quote, by earth, moon, and stone, bless this hearth, bless this home. We have some socks, vampire hunter socks. My boyfriend always makes fun of me and the weird socks that I'm wearing. It has like skulls on it and swords and bats. They are really cute. And my boyfriend's just gonna have to deal with them. <laughs> Before we're gonna open the big box, we also have some Star Wars stickers with Kylo Ren and I love Kylo Ren. I love Star Wars. The best saga, I think, is still the original one, so episode four to six, but I think that this is the last item in the box. Jax from the Caraval series. Caraval? It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle, and I just... 
I talked to Brit about this from basically Brit because she posted on her Instagram stories that she was making a puzzle and I'm like, puzzles are not for me. I am really patient with a lot of other things, but puzzles, I just, I don't have the patience for it. But this is just like a 100 pieces puzzle, so that's not too big at all. I haven't read the Caraval series. I do have book one and I even pre-ordered it back in like 2016, 2017 when it came out because I was so excited to read it four years later and it's still on my TBR. The story of my life. As usual, we also have these like tarot cards that they put in the box. Again, no clue who these characters are, but I'll put it on the screen right here. I love the artwork. I have said this many times before in my Fairy Loot unboxings. The artwork that is included in the Fairy Loot boxes is always stunning, and I don't know how people can be so talented, but they are. <laughs> I'm very. Oh, oh my God! Black spray pages. <gasps> this is so cool. I know which book it is, but I'm very curious to see the special Feyrelude cover. Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Menescalco. I think it is, oh, oh my God. I only saw the top of the sprayed pages, which was already stunning, but look at that. Oh my God. It's a book that takes place in Italy. I believe it is a YA dark fantasy, or at least that was what I saw on Google. I know that some people told me like, I didn't know it was a dark fantasy, but, we shall see what type of genre this book is once we read the book. I love this edition. It is a whole lot more dark than the original one and the sprayed edges. I've never seen edges like these before. Let's see if the dust jacket also has a special inside because sometimes Fairy Loot does it. It is signed by the author herself. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> it does not only have gorgeous fan art on the inside of the dust jacket, Holy crap. This is one of the most gorgeous fairy loot editions I have ever received. And the inside is just as gorgeous. Look at this. Two sisters, one murder. A quest for vengeance that will unleash hell itself. Amelia and her twin sister, Vittoria, have been inseparable all their lives. As Streche, Streche? I don't know how to pronounce this. I said it with my Dutch accent. Witches who exist secretly among humans, they know the dangers of drawing attention and work at their family's renowned Sicilian restaurant, avoiding notice and persecution. But one night, Vittoria doesn't come home, and it's not long before distraught Amelia discovers the body of her beloved twin desecrated beyond belief. Devastated, Amelia vows to find her sister's killer and seek vengeance at any cost, even if it means calling upon a dark magic that has been long forgotten. Then Amelia meets Wrath, one of the wicked, princes of hell she has been warned against since she was a child. Wrath claims to be on Amelia's side, tasked by his master with solving a series of murders on the island of which Vittoria is the latest victim. But when it comes to the wicked, nothing is as it seems. I'm so curious to see how I will like this story. I've heard nothing but great things about this on like book Twitter, on Instagram. I've seen so many people receive arcs of this story alongside with some fresh pasta because I believe that like Italian cuisine is something that reoccurs or like comes back in this book really quite often. And now let's go on to the rest of my book haul because I have so many books to show you guys. I told you that box was amazing. So right now I'm gonna show you the three special editions books that I received in those fairy loot boxes. So in August we received Star Daughter by Shveta Takrar and this is a contemporary fantasy book uh, so it takes place like in our world but also in a fantasy world and it has to deal with like stars and I think there was supposed to be a really big battle in here but I want to film a separate video in which I read all the three fairy loot books that I received and I think that would be a lot of fun so let me know if you think that would be nice as well. The September book was Fable by Adrian Young. This has a completely different cover than this one. I think it is an adventurous pirate type of story and the reviews were really great in contrast to those of Star Daughter. So I'm very much looking forward to picking this one up. And just like you saw, the October fairy loot book is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Menescalco. It's just so gorgeous. I've never seen such a beautiful exclusive edition in a box before. Fairy loot is not playing over here and we love to see it. Let's go on to my next category of books that I'm gonna haul and these are books that I'm currently reading. I have been really good with picking up the books that I recently bought but maybe I should also have a look at the books that I have owned for so long already but 
I am currently reading Heb Je Nou Al Een Vriend by Marilotte Hagen and Nidia van Voorthuizen. As you guys can tell, this is a Dutch book, my native language. I am Dutch myself, and this is a non-fiction book about feminism. Marilotte Hagen and Nidia van Voorthuizen, they have an amazing podcast. If you are Dutch, if you can speak the language, you should definitely listen to their podcast called Damn Honey. And in this non-fiction book, they react to 50 reactions that you have to deal with when you're a woman so for instance like is all this feminism like still necessary or boys will be boys are you on your period or something and also like do you have a boyfriend already which is the literal translation of this title they have such great witty smart responses to all of these questions so i think that this is a really great book to educate myself even more on feminism and i just love these women so much and then the second book that i'm currently reading is a gigantic one <laughs> and that one is the dragon republic by rf kwang this is the sequel to the poppy war one of my favorite books of 2020 this was such an unexpected read for me first of all because it is an adult fantasy and they always intimidate the crap out of me and this story also deals a lot with warfare we follow our main character called rin she is a dark-skinned peasant girl from the south which is not an easy thing in their country called nikara and she is trying to get into this really high pristine pristine prestige i never know how to say that word um military school everyone is surprised when she gets in and basically in the story you follow her going into that military school but also her country has had these two poppy wars before she went into the military school and that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> it was so intense and you never know what rin is about to do like she's one of the most unpredictable main characters that i've ever read about i'm over halfway through with the dragon republic it's secret and I've heard so many people say that this one is even more intense. I am definitely liking it, but until so far, I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not. I am loving the Poppy War more than this one, but I mean, I still have 300 pages to go and a lot can happen in 300 pages, especially with this series. Now on to my next category, which is recent releases that I bought. I bought The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. This is the third and final book in the trilogy. I don't know if I should say that I'm kind of like excited to be emotionally wrecked by this trilogy, but we shall see how I will feel about it once I read it. The next book is one of the most anticipated releases of the year, or at least that's how I feel, and that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I think it's like a mixture, but please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, of like historical fiction feat fantasy, feat featuring <laughs> fantasy. I think that at the beginning of the story, it starts in the year 1714, and we follow this woman who makes a deal with the devil that she will like live forever, but the thing is that no one will remember her, and then all of a sudden she meets this man in a bookshop, and he remembers her. That's all I know. That's all I want to know. Again, heard so many people say that this book wrecked them. And I'm kind of here for that, but I'm also scared. <laughs> and then the last recent release that I bought is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I always <laughs> have to think of Westworld whenever I hear this because they say these violent delights have violent ends. So this is a fantasy book. I think it's part of a series, but I'm not too sure. I definitely have to look that up. That takes place in 1926. Shanghai. I know that it is inspired by Romeo and Juliet and that there are these two gangs who are kind of like fighting each other. That's all I know. Heard amazing things. Gorgeous cover. I just wanted to read it. <laughs> now I have a special category dedicated to Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, you definitely have to. She is a really great friend of mine. I'll just show you the books and then tell the story of why this is related to Olivia. The first book is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. This is the first book in the Trials of Morgan Crow. I bought this book for Olivia as a present because she had reached like 4,000 subscribers and she also had some other amazing life milestones and I got her nevermore and then I was like oh 
I also really want to read this book for myself. This is a middle grade story that is just super whimsical, really magical, so I think it will be amazing to read during Christmas and also during just the winter times in general. And then this past week, a package came into the mail and I was like, mm, I didn't order anything anymore. And then I got Normal People by Sally Rooney and Olivia gifted this to me for Christmas, which was so kind. Overall, I've heard good things about this book, but I've also heard some mixed opinions. I think it's just about two people and how their whole relationship from like friendship to relationship and everything in between with that will go. Now I don't really have a lot of different categories anymore. So these are just some random books that I bought. The first one is Women Don't Owe You Pretty by Florence Given. And she has written a nonfiction book about feminism. So this will definitely be like the next nonfiction book about feminism that I pick up after I finish Happy Now Lavrine. Then I have Stay Golden by Tobley McSmith. This is a contemporary novel, I think about a transgender teen. And I saw Lala from Books with Lala? Books and Lala? Oh my god, I forgot her channel name. I think it's Books and Lala. I'm gonna go with that. Um, she's just an amazing YouTuber. I'm pretty damn sure you all know about her. I saw this on her channel and I was like, if she is reading it, I need to get it for myself as well. So we have Pony and he's really tired of the attention that he got when he was at his old high school when he came out as transgender and he's just going through a really hard time. And then we also have this other character called Georgia who is beginning to think there's more to life than cheerleading. And I'm gonna guess they're gonna gonna meet in some way and team up and hopefully they can help each other out. I always really love hard-hitting contemporaries so I'm hoping that this one will be just that. A couple of months ago I asked some people on Instagram whether they wanted to do a book swap because I was looking for particular books and then I was like maybe buying books secondhand is also a really nice option. So the first book that I swapped <laughs> on Instagram with someone is The Shining by Stephen King. This year I read my first Stephen King book and I quite enjoyed it but I've heard so many great things about The Shining and just how creepy it is. I have always wanted to watch the movie but every single time that it is on TV I'm like no Sabine you have to read the book first. It looks deceptively small but it is 650 pages. Hopefully next year around the time of like autumn and Halloween I'll pick this one up. And the person who I did the swap with also gave me an extra book and that is There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. And then I have three books which I am reading for a themed reading vlog which will hopefully come on my channel at the beginning of 2021. Let me know in the comments down below if you can guess the theme of this reading vlog. That would be so cool. But the first book for that themed reading vlog is Misery by Stephen King. In this one, we follow our main character called Paul Sheldon, yes, and he is a super famous author for the Misery series. He is driving his car on a winter evening and the road is super slippery, so he gets into an accident. After the accident, his number one fan called Annie Wilkes finds Paul and she is obsessed with his Misery series. But the thing is, Paul killed off Misery in the latest novel and Annie is not so excited about that. I won't be sharing with you what I thought of this book because I will share all of my thoughts and feelings in that future reading vlog. The other two books that I got for this themed reading vlog are Call Me By Your Name by Andre Akiman. I mean the movie is apparently really amazing. I believe it's on Netflix so hopefully I can read this one and watch the movie and I think that this is a love story between two boys and that is all that I know. Oh, it takes place on the Italian Riviera. And then the other book that I'm gonna read is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I got this one from Olivia as well. Um, she read it. She didn't love it. I believe that this is supposed to be a hate to love romance book, but I've heard some mixed things about it. Some people are up obsessed with this story and then some other people do not really like it that much. I've heard that the hate to love goes over pretty quickly but I'm very curious to see how my opinion will be on this book. I mean overall I have rarely read romance novels so that's also gonna be a first. <laughs> Those were the three books for my themed reading vlog. I have three more books to haul and then this video is over. So the next one is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Morena Garcia. I read this book for the World Readers Book Club, a book club that I'm co-hosting together with Lamy from the Book Leo. As the title suggests, it's a gothic horror novel and it was quite creepy, but I highly enjoyed it. And this was the first horror novel that I read in like ever. I also made a separate reading vlog for that. So definitely go check it out. I think it will be 
in this corner right here. This is like a feminist gothic horror novel that takes place in 1950s Mexico. We follow our main character called Catalina and she and her father have gotten a letter from their cousin who has been married into this English family um, that lives in Mexico and their cousin is talking nonsense or at least it seems like she's talking nonsense about all this creepy stuff that is going on in this huge mansion that she lives in and our main character Catalina is sent to her cousin to figure out what the hell is going on and I can tell you it is super atmospheric the characters are really mysterious creepy and awful and it was so creepy to see how eugenics and racism was incorporated into this story as well the first 200 pages are a little bit more slow and then the last 100 pages shit goes down <laughs> be prepared <gasps> okay always at the end of these super long book hauls i just cannot speak anymore the last two books that i have to haul are the midnight library by matt haig this is also a pretty recent release i read it i really really enjoyed it it's definitely something like i've never read before i think you'd classify this as an adult fiction book in which we follow our main character called nora c and she finds herself in the midnight library which is a place between life and death and in the midnight library Nora can like pick out books in which she sees or like experiences different versions of her life so like if I did blah 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 how would my life look and then she goes to that life and it deals a lot with regretting choices and kind of seeing like the meaning in life it's a really intense book and definitely a trigger warning for suicide this is one of those books which just hits you in a different way it was really emotional it was super interesting in my opinion I really enjoyed it but this is not a wrap-up this is a book haul so I got the Midnight Library by Matt Haig and then last but not least I have Blood Moon by Lucy Cthu I've seen this book in bookstores a couple of times before and this book seems like right up my alley it is a feminist contemporary novel and when I flipped through the book it was the first time that I realized that it is written in verse our main character Frankie's first sexual experience was with lovely Benjamin and she gets her period. It's only blood they agree, no shame. Then a graphic meme goes viral, turning their fun, intimate afternoon into something mortifying and damaging. And Frankie begins to wonder, is she disgusting? As the online shaming takes on a horrifying life off its own, her universe implodes. And then this story basically deals with the after effects of that meme going viral and her dealing with the online shaming. I just love themes like this like feminism and that women are being shamed for like their sexual experiences or anything that has to deal with sex and women is just a scandal always and I really like exploring those themes. I have never heard anyone talk about this book so I'm super curious and excited to see what I'll think of it. Maybe this is a hidden gem and I love <laughs> finding hidden gems. These were all of the 20 books that I had to haul. Let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of the books that I showed to you guys today. What were your opinions? I'm so excited to hear about that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!